So, I will show you the first, uh, first the software and then I will uh, uh, describe how this is uh, uh, help you to for effective teaching. So, let us right now I am not saying anything about that program outcome and mission vision program educational objective that I will describe later on. So, let us start that forget about those part let us start for effective teaching that how I can increase student engagement in my class. Okay. So, what is required? Let us you want to develop a course. So, in course if I say course the course whichever I taught the course, course has course objective. This course objective which is here course objective is nothing but a outcome or at the end of the course what student will able to do. So, at the end of the course, so as a teacher I am writing down the course outcome or objective at the end of the course student will able to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that is skill. This is skill not define describe like that way. So, at the major take away by the student at the end of the course, I have defined it. How to do it? I will describe later on the action verb and all kind of things. Then what I am doing? I am entering the course overview. So, a student what is course overview? It is not only the coverage of the course, it contains the motivational part of the course also. Okay. So, I am as a teacher I am developing this document whatever course I am teaching. Then a course has several module, I provide the module name and I developing module overview, module of objective means outcome again what is the goal of the aligning goal of the module that means at the end of the module what student has to be demonstrate it is learner centric. Then module level problem, so I already said that every goal must be associated with a problem, a student must self test whether they achieve the goals or not. Then for learning this module what kinds of resources he has to be going through that may be a video lectures, that may be a book chapter, that may be a animation, that may be in a uh, paper portion of the paper. So, as a teacher I am listing down all those material in module learning strategy. So, module learning strategy I am listing down all the material which I require which is required which will guide the student to achieve the goal. So, that is the path. Now, here people are saying personalized learning. The learner sitting in the class has different ability. Some learner prefer text material some prefer animation, some prefer video, some prefer reading book, some prefer watching site. So, I am saying I am once I defining the module goal, I am saying to achieve the module goal those are the material something is text, something is video, something is animation all as a teacher I am annotating that you follow this textbook, you follow this video, you follow this. So, this is the role of the teacher. Now, based on their choice, they could not take any part. So, what philosophy I said? Different gurus said you the different path to reach the God, but ultimately your target is reach the God. So, depending on you, which path you want, you choose. I want to choose this path to reach the God. So, I want to use, use text material to achieve the goal. So, that is why I said 
it is a self learning philosophy so once i done it even up to unit level a module consists of several lectures unit has unit summary unit objective and unit level problem i'll i'll demonstrate the software later on details but first demonstrate the philosophy so what is there a class every class has an outcome every class has a class summary every class has an every outcome is labeled to some problem so at the end of the class student know what kind of problem i have to solve to i have to test whether i have achieved the outcome or not several class consist of a module module outcome material is given so student said i have achieved the module outcome once they achieve the module outcome then and there they can try for the course outcome because module are the process by which they can achieve the course goal so they know okay i know the course goal i am able to solve the course outcome so this entire document is given to the student before they come to your class once it is given then in teaching learning process i said instead of delivering the material in the class you said that tomorrow i will take the unit number 1 and unit number 2 and in the class i will discuss the key concept of unit 1 and unit 2 and the discussion will be in two way not single way and i can said also that to learn this module make a group of three people or five people and read this book you and you read this book you read this book and then discuss among yourself whether you are able to solve the outcome questions or not so what i am doing i am doing development of teamwork i am doing development of communication skill and i said that tomorrow you will come prepare with this unit so i said that your responsibility to test whether you achieve the goal or not that means i am encouraging self learning then the question is called i have said that how to teach a large classroom suppose i have a 200 student classroom possible 400 student classroom a teacher said i don't know who is coming in my class and who is not coming i will come in the class and deliver a lectures and in the just facing the back to the students and delivering a lectures none of the students are interested because the same material is available in the net so a student sitting in the back bench they are doing active facebook because there is a restriction of attendance 75% below attendance you will be deregistered you will be you know, not allowed to the seat in the exam so they will come the uh, class but they will not listen it because they are not interested because it is a single mode delivery now instead of doing that if i provide this document to the students before they come to the class let's 400 students are there this document available in website i told them that tomorrow you will come prepare with lecture number 1 2 3 & i will discuss it in my class so instead of delivering the content content is already available in the site they can go through the content so i am increasing the student engagement in the hostel they know tomorrow what will happen in the class and then i start discussion among the 400 students whether they understand or whether they achieve the goal or not i may explain some few key concept in the class and then start discussion what is happening the engagement of the students is increasing the communication power of the student is increasing learning ability of the student is increasing and you can say your class become in active mode so in a 400 student class i can say 
I am reaching individual students. Because I initially I said that learning is your own responsibility. So, if it is a 400 student class, what is the basic problem is there? The main problem is that some of the students said that they are very bright students. So, whatever the goal lecture I have provided in one lecture, they understand fully. Some students are said, oh, ok, I will read it. They understand something, they write down some note, ok, I will read it before the exam. And the last one said, forget about that, I will uh, consult the last year question paper and I know what, how, what way it is to pass and I pass it which is happening right now. We are saying some student is get 80 percent marks, but after the exam he forgot everything of the subject, because he only study for how to get the marks. He is not involved in the class. He only study, ok, I have to get, that is that is happening in not only engineering education, in general education. If you go to the any colleges, so, before the exam, they will read the notes and at the, write the exam and they will pass. So, why I have to talk for the whole four, one year and oh, oh, every class does not required. So, here what I am saying, if it is class is interactive, then I am not actually developing the con, uh, skill of the content related skill or domain related skill of the students every day. I am developing the self or you can say the soft skill which is 7 to 12 soft skill which is required among the students. While I am teaching domain dependent course. So, since I have provided different kind of path, something is text, something is video, something is animation, something is any input lecture, something in MOOC. So, goal is defined. I am not restricting the students to learn by my, as a, I am teacher my way. I am allowing them to learn by their own space, own path, own way. So, a student may be slow learner, he can follow his own path because the goal I have given, this goal is achievable by 6 months of study. So, they know that I have to reach the goal. So, the bright students may reach the goal by very quick time and they can do other work also. The slow learner, they know yes, I have to achieve this goal first. So, they will take time, they, 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 they go by their own space. But ultimately, I am certifying whether the students has reached the goal or not. If the student does not reach the goal, then at least he know that I have not reached this goal, which skill may require in the next level subject. So, when you go for the next subject, maybe there is some time gap is available, within that gap he can learn that things. Once the structure is given, student can know also what kind of prerequisite knowledge they require, I do not have to mention. because. Once this document is available, they know the lecture one goal is this. To achieve this goal, once they see it, they know, okay, I do not know this kind of things. So, I have to read it. So, it encourages or you can see that it increases the student engagement. Another way, how continuously improve the curriculum? If you see, I will show you there is a delivery platform of the same software, there is a two platform, one is the development platform, another is called delivery platform. Okay. If you see the course view is the delivery platform, I will show you. So, here once my course goal and whole structure document is available in the internet. Suppose I am teaching a course on data structure and algorithm, I write down my course outcome. Once it is available in internet for free comment, 
So, maybe one expert who is sitting in the industry or who is dealing with this kind of problem may say this kind of skill today does not require you reframe this kind of skill. So, what I am saying that in active collaboration between the industry and academia, I write down a course outcome using a software tools. Industry people said these tools is obsolete, you use this kind of tools which is available right now. I may be taught design or I am teaching a design of some model of a machine which is absolute in the market. Industry can give me the then and their comment that yes, you are teaching this model, this model of the engine which is totally absolute from the market which is not required this kind of skill. So, the skill which I am mentioning in the course objective or outcome that skill anybody can give a comment. As a teacher, I can receive the comment and then I can justify whether this skill is required or not for the students. If it is not, I can modify it and I can next lecture, I can change it. So, that is possible. Next one, test item. As a teacher, I have developed one test item for one outcome. Some of my ex students or some of industry people also can contribute to the development that yes, you are teaching this course, this kind of problem will test this kind of skill, that provision also there. So, you can see that if the structure is available, anybody can contribute to the structure to modify your day to day teaching learning not to wait for the after 5 years there will be a curriculum revision. So, your curriculum will continuously updated based on the industry active participation. So, I am saying if you developing this kind of outcome based curriculum structure and give it to the students and open it for industry comment, open it for extra expert comment, then you are actually two things you are happening. One is that your curriculum will be revised by the set of expert, your curriculum will enrich by different people, your curriculum will be enhanced by your ex students, your curriculum will up to date for which is required. Next thing, if it is given to the student before they come to the class, they we are encouraging their student, we are increasing the student engagement, we are encouraging the student to self learn, we are addressing is a large classroom, we are the students will be more interactive in the class instead of their passive learner, because today all materials, all kinds of materials are available Google. So, students may say why I to come to your class, because the lecture whatever you will deliver is already available in YouTube, they does not know what to achieve it. That is why once I define the outcome, they can figure out whether they are understanding the skill and achieve that skill or not. If they not achieve, they will come to you or even we can allow them go to anywhere, let them, let them learn by themselves. They can consult to Khan Academy, they can consult to MI to open house, they can consult to NPTEL video lecture, but anywhere to achieve the skill. Today what they are doing? Before the exam, they go to the library to consult last 5 year question paper to find out what is the teacher intention of this course, what kind of questions that means skill teacher will ask in this exam. How to write those skill, how to design the document is an arts and science. So, that is an required of training, every teacher must go through that training how to write those outcome which is specific measurable 
and achievable. Unless the outcome is achievable, if I say at the end of the course student will be able to design a AC machine, it is measurable, but it is not achievable for a 6 month course. So, if let us say 40 lectures course, is it within a 40 lectures is I am able to design or I am able to or a learner able to learn all kinds of AC machine design is impossible. So, I have to specify the outcome which is specific, measurable and achievable. Unless it is specific, measurable and achievable, the defining outcome is no meaning. I can say yes, I have write down the outcome of the course, but which is not achievable. Student does not know. So, you at the end of the course, you will be understand the basic circuit theory. What is the meaning? What is the skill? So, writing outcome in term of skill, which is required depending on the level, not only be engineer, if it is ITI level, I know what kind of level is required, what kind of skill is required. If it is B.Tech engineer, I know what kind of skill is required. If it is a English honors, I know at the end of the English honors or let us I taught a course on English grammar. So, at end of the course, what they have to do? Specific, achievable and measurable term. Unless I define it, student does not know what they have to do. Today, what is happening? Okay, I have admitted a B engineering electronics, but I do not know what kind of skill I suppose to be acquired as a B engineer, what kind of skill which I already have has to be enhanced as a B engineer. I do not know anything unless the other there is a course, okay, there is a course on VLSI design, okay, I know that VLSI design. Same thing is happen that in a course, there is another, another aspect also. Suppose that once the outcome is designed, it is a you can say the teacher to teacher the variation of the course does not exist here. If suppose I can give an example, suppose somebody taught told me to taught the course on digital signal processing, I may be very good in frequency transform, but I may be very little bit of less experience in filter design. So, I know what are the course topics are there, topics are there all topics are there, but I know I can spend most of the time on frequency transform and less class on filter design. Then when the student is promoted to the next class advanced digital signal processing, they understand they does not know the basic filter design. It is not their fault, it is fault of the teachers and fault of the system the system does not allow them to understand up to what depth they have to know the filter design for the next class. So, the curriculum you may say oh, curriculum is there they can go for the curriculum, curriculum only define the topic, it never describe the depth of the topic, it is written filter design FIR filter, IR filter, FIR filter, IR filter itself can take 6 months or even 3 years time to understand everything. What kinds of FIR filter, what complexity of FIR filter, what complexity of IR filter is not defined. So, as a teacher to teacher, the definition of complexity is varied. But once you define your outcome based curriculum, the skill is specific, measurable, and achievable, this variation does not exist student know what they have to achieve it, whether teacher taught, whether they learn it from Khan Academy, whether they learn it from MIT Openware, whatever does not matter. So, if you see, if I have used this kind of approach, design the active documents, outcome based curriculum design, whatever the framework, give it to the students and class is changed purely active interaction. So, I am developing the domain independent skill while I am teaching a domain skill. Most of the cases in first year students had an objection that the physics, chemistry, whatever taught 
in engineering level, they have already learned it. What is the problem is there? If you think about the problem, the problem is only teaching learning process, not the theory. A teacher is come in the class and explaining the same physics principle is not required. You have to think in a different way that at the end of the course, in first year physics, what are the skill you want, the skill which is required for acquiring engineering course. Now, once I identify the skill, then student can correlate their 10 plus 2 physics knowledge that what kind of skill I have to require to learn. And in the class, if they know the physics, they can achieve the skill quickly. So, I can have a spare time to develop their domain independent skill. So, if my interaction of the student is increases, if their regular habit to learn by their own is increases, it will benefit in the long run when they are studying the engineering subject. So, instead of delivering a simple lecture in the class, you have to follow a teaching learning process by which I am increasing the student encouragement, I am developing the skill, I am increasing their self learning ability, I am scattered to large classroom, I am scattered to self learning ability, I am scattered to that continuous modification of the curriculum. So, suppose as a physics teacher you write down this is the skill required in a physics. As a mechanics teacher, a mechanical engineering may say this kind of skill is not required for today's engineering subject or you can say this is skill is not sufficient, you have to go up to this also. So, instead of designing a curriculum topic, simple pendulum, spring mass motion, so I do not know what complexity of spring mass motion has to be handled. Now, it is defined by outcome based curriculum. I will show you why that program educational objective, how it is fulfilled by this kind of document. Unless you can say, okay, then I can design one outcome based curriculum and I follow, I told you every teacher must follow this, it is not that true. Because every institute, every program has its own objective, that is called PO, program educational objective. That I will explain you later on, I will explain you what is PO, how it is matching, that time you understand that every teacher has to write his course as per their own way for their own institute. Unless you can say that I can copy it the MIT syllabus and I am becomes MIT, it is not that true. I will show you how it is different and kind of uh, what kind of things are different. Unless immediately can say this is the outcome based curriculum, you, everybody has to be follow it, it is not true. Because that every program, every institute has its own mission, vision and program educational objective. I will explain it later on and I will clear you how it is different. Okay? Thank you.